the concept of this is to talk a little bit about uh, you know what we have in terms of process control and um, the whole idea here is to talk about it's more than just control when you think about it we've been talking about uh, the interconnection of things with a lot of discussion about the uh, industrial internet of things but we in this industry have been dealing with connecting things together for a long long time and uh, of course the process control system from my world is the center of attention but it's a lot more than just control. So uh, a number of years ago now, and it's, it's uh, amazing how time flies, but we came up with this concept we call Collaborative Process Automation System, and we wrote a book. Well, we're now on version three of that book, in which we are outlining um, things that we think a modern control system ought to have. And so we call it the Collaborative Process Automation System. The word collaborative in our, in our definition means People, processes, and technology all work together. So it's surely technology to people. It's also people to technology, but it's also technology to technology. These things ought to just work. What we mean by information-driven manufacturing is there is lots of information in the form, it begins in the form of data. And data is not very useful until you put it in the context of what you're trying to achieve. So, so what has changed? What, what is, where, where are we coming from? So I thought this would might be a little instructive, is, um, first of all, the focus has definitely moved from the technology. We all use technology, and it's sort of the thing we rely on, and there's no excuse for not being able to do something because the technology is there. But I want to also give credit to the way um, suppliers have moved. They, they used to be, back when I started, in the lower left-hand corner of this picture. They provided you technology and some fundamental services to get it going. That was the world they lived in. And you bought pieces. You know, you, you bought uh, instruments. You didn't necessarily buy systems. Well, as things have progressed, uh, we're up in the upper right-hand corner now. This is what it looks like when it's all put together. You know, again, we've got to always go back to some physical picture. It helps, it helps your, your gather. And you see this is a picture we've shown before. Um, a lot of components all working together. Things are simple. Uh, the question is, uh, will the Internet of Things change things? And the, the simple answer to that is absolutely. Uh, it's already starting to change things now. The key thing is, as we were talking about it, it's industrial Internet of Things. And that industrial is a key word. It has to fit for industry. You have to do the risk assessment on whatever you do, whether it's applying an Internet of Thing to your, to, your, to your plant or whether it's applying an Internet of Thing to your home. You have to think about the risk. And, uh, but with, with having said that, is it going to be a great thing for us? It already is. It's starting to, it's starting to make its, its way into various industries in an appropriate way. So we built this model, and we have uh, freshened up the, uh, the, the diagram on the, on the uh, right-hand side here to illustrate that it's, a, it's kind of a spherical view where we have business systems above, we have the plant below, and in the middle, we have this thing that we call CPAS, which is a collection of all the automation things you need to do, all the instruments and, and measurements and sensors, whether they're hardwired or, or uh, connected uh, through some wireless connection, and, of course, all this manufacturing operation management, which is keeping the plant uh, responding to um, the current situation.